Uh, hi and welcome to the Bootstrap Typeahead Remote Data Source uh, tutorial. So to start with, we need to actually modify the existing Typeahead plugin that comes with the Twitter Bootstrap. That's all the way at the bottom. So from here downwards, we need to change. To do this, we need to go to this URL here. And someone's created a very nice remote plugin extension that we can use, but it requires us to change some of the code. So copying and pasting all of this over all of this. And that will give us the functionality that we need to get this working remotely. So close that file back into our index.html and we'll create a div with the class of well. Give it an input type of text. Class of span 3 ID of type ahead and a data provide of type ahead. Now for the script tags and a ready self invoking function. Use jQuery to get the ID of typehead. Forgot the double quotes. Now to instantiate the plugin, we just need to call the typehead function. But first I'm going to show you it with a static source. So let's just add some values to test this with. That should be enough. Now if we go over into preview and start typing YouTube or Google something, we get all the values and then now we want to do that but remotely. So let's delete this. And then we need to go into our PHP file and set up the PHP connecting to the database and retrieving the query and searching. So to make sure they've got a query, let's set up the database. Use your details, not mine. Sorry about that. Now for the connection. Change that to host. And then to select the database. Okay. Now let's assign the query to a variable. Let's create the MySQL query. Sorry. Um, select all from and then here's the table that I've got here, type ahead, with ID and name and just some values to use. Select all from type ahead, where name like and finishing double quote and semicolon. Right, now we need to loop through the results. We need to assign these results to an array. Then we need to JSON encode 
and echo back the results. These results have to be JSON encoded for the plugin. So this is our PHP file done. I can't see any errors, probably have made some, but we'll see that later. Now for the uh, the type ahead plugin. So we need to add a function here with type ahead and query. Now for the Ajax call, URL is source.php. Type is post data query equals plus query data type JSON. This has to be false. Doesn't work when asynchronous is true. And then we need to do type ahead that process data. Now let's test this out. There we go. If we Let's bring up the table and let's search for Ajax. There we go. Ajax comes up perfect. Now, this is all done very simply. Just remember to change at the bottom here the type head with on this website here. And then set up your HTML like this. You need to have this function to get the query. The source, you need to be querying the database with something like the query and then returning it as a JSON array. And that's all for this lesson. Thank you and goodbye.